Hey, how's it going everyone? Today, we're diving into the ultimate FPS boost and optimization guide for Battlefield 6. Whether you're chasing those high FPS numbers or you just want a smoother, more responsive experience, this video is packed with tweaks, settings, and hidden optimizations to help you achieve just that. We'll cover everything from graphic settings and frame rate limits to reducing input latency and enhancing visual fidelity. But first, let's start by comparing the graphics presets. Battlefield 6 gives you several base options, low, medium, high, ultra, and overkill. Each of these presets not only perform differently, but they also look surprisingly different too. And honestly, Ultra actually looks better than Overkill in my opinion, despite Overkill tanking performance. For example, in this clip, notice how Overkill is missing shadows almost everywhere you look, especially in the corners around objects. For me, this completely rules out the Overkill preset, especially when you factor in the massive performance drop. In my testing, Overkill averaged around 75 FPS, whilst Ultra hit close to 100 FPS in the same scenario. That's nearly a 30% boost in performance just by stepping down one preset. The low and medium presets noticeably reduce shadow detail, especially around objects and terrain, which makes the image look much flatter overall. The high preset on the other hand keeps most of the detail while still giving a solid boost in FPS, making it the best balance between clarity and performance. And after comparing all the presets, here's the settings that I found gave me the best balance between performance and quality. But it's worth noting, even on the lowest settings, Battlefield 6 still looks surprisingly good. The visuals hold up really well, no matter what settings you play on. Now, let's move on to optimizing the visual settings for extra performance. Start by turning off the unnecessary effects, things like camera shake, weapon and world motion blur, chromatic aberration, vignette, and film grain. After disabling those, I saw around a 4% boost in both frame rate and latency, plus the image looks cleaner and less distracting. Next, scroll down and make sure vertical sync is disabled. Instead, use G-Sync or FreeSync if your monitor supports it, as vertical sync adds extra input lag. Then head back up and into the advanced tab. In here, the first thing you'll want to look at is turning off anti-aliasing. This gave me a 10% performance booster over TAA, but if you want to push things even further, enable DLSS or FSR depending on your GPU. Then, set your upscaling quality as low as you're visually comfortable with. The lower the setting, the higher your FPS. At 4K, DLSS looks incredible, and even as you drop down through the modes, there's barely any noticeable difference in sharpness until you reach ultra performance. Finally, disable future frame rendering, as in its current state, I found it to not affect FPS at all, while still adding extra input lag. Now, if you really want to squeeze out every last frame out of Battlefield 6 without breaking your game, this next part's for you. A lot of people tend to dive straight into config files or random CPU tweaks trying to boost FPS, but that can easily hurt stability or your 1% lows. Instead, I'd recommend using Hone Optimizer, which applies all the tested performance tweaks for you, including hidden Battlefield 6 settings, registry changes, and system optimizations. It's fast, safe, and completely reversible, so you get the best possible performance without the risk or hours of trial and error. To get started, head over to Hone.gg, or alternatively, download Hone directly from the Epic Games Store. Once you're there, click Download, then locate the installer file and run it. When the setup window opens, choose your language, then make sure to accept the terms of service and click install. For most people, the download should be quick as Hone is only around 80 megabytes. And once it's done, you'll be taken to the login screen where you can create a new account or sign in. After logging in, you'll see the Hone home screen with a performance checklist. We'll quickly run through the steps to make sure your PC is fully optimized starting with creating a restore point. To do this, select Create New Backup and give it any name you like. Once it's done, you'll see it listed alongside with any other backups you've made in the past. Next, head back to the Home tab using the sidebar and we'll then apply a game preset. Go to the Game section, where Home will then list every game detected on your system. However, for this video, simply select Battlefield 6. In here, you'll see multiple different optimization options, but for now, we're going to stick to applying the in-game performance preset, which automatically adjusts all the key in-game and hidden config settings for maximum performance. No manual tweaking needed. Once that's applied, return to the home page and open the boost up tab. In here, you'll find a range of deep bloating tools that can free up storage space and remove unnecessary background clutter that could be slowing down your system. For most people, I recommend starting with the junk cleaner as it's quick, safe, and can make a difference in overall system performance. Now head back to the home tab where we'll move on to the final and most important step in the performance checklist, which is the optimizations. 
But before we apply anything, let's quickly go over the difference between Home Free and Home Premium, since this affects how many optimizations you can use. With the free version, you still have access to nearly all of Home's optimizations, but you're limited to enabling up to 10 at a time. Premium simply removes that cap, letting you apply as many optimizations as you want at the same time. So for this next part, I'll be showing you the top 10 optimizations I recommend enabling to get the biggest boost in performance and responsiveness, starting with optimize I.O. operations. This improves how data moves between your CPU, storage, and other hardware components, which can help reduce latency and keep your frame rates more consistent during gameplay. Next, enable Home Gaming Mode, which automatically prioritizes your game in real time, giving you smoother performance without needing to tweak anything manually. Optimized Drives ensures your storage is running at peak efficiency, improving load times and keeping your system feeling fast and responsive. Scrolling down, Optimized Memory Management helps Windows handle your RAM more efficiently, freeing up memory for your game and reducing unnecessary background usage, which can reduce stutters and improve your frame times. Then we have Optimized Message Signal Interrupts, also known as MSI Mode. This reduces the delay between your CPU and other connected hardware, improving responsiveness, which is something you'll definitely notice in fast paced or competitive games. Next, Optimized Windows Time Resolution, to put it simply, increases the accuracy of Windows internal timing, which can help lower input delay and make your gameplay feel smoother overall. Gaming optimizations apply a collection of system level tweaks that reduce background interference and let your hardware focus purely on gaming. Optimize Windows Power Plan automatically applies the Hone Power Plan, which adjusts your power settings to prioritize performance. Then, Disable Power Saving Features complements that by preventing your components from throttling under load, ensuring they stay at maximum performance when you need it the most. And finally, we have Optimize Mouse, which fine tunes your mouse input for improved precision and latency. Once you've enabled all 10, you can easily check your active optimizations from the home page. It's displayed right in the top left corner, and as you can see here, we now have 10 optimizations applied. If you found this helpful, consider leaving a like or subscribing.